Hi everybody, welcome to JNS Farms. And today I'm continuing my So You Want to Homestead series, and this is video number eight. And today I thought I would discuss with you the importance of frugal living on your homestead. Now, as most of you know, we are a single income family, and my husband goes to work every day, and I stay here and kind of run the uh, the homestead, the day-to-day -day operations of it, and uh, things like that. So, my contribution to our family is being able to save us money and also create and generate a farm income so that way our homestead can pay for itself. And one of the best ways to do that is to live frugally. So, um, I have kind of a list I'm going to kind of run through here real quick and uh, kind of maybe give you some ideas on uh, how you can live a little bit more frugally and save your family some money. Okay, the first thing I have on my list is recycle and repurpose everything. Um, one example, uh, my grandmother, um, when my grandpa's old socks used to become so worn out that she couldn't re repair them by darning them or the elastic went out in them and they wouldn't uh, you know, function properly, she would cut them up and turn them into uh, cleaning rags for, for the house. Um, and then Grandpa would use them whenever he was working on machinery or, or you know, whatever they needed a rag for. So that sock got a double life. And as when it was finally worn out to the point where it couldn't do that purpose, it was thrown away. So try and look at something, if it's broken or if it's worn out, what, what else can you use it for? Don't just throw it away. See if you can repurpose it and turn it into something uh, different. Um, make as many things as you possibly can. Uh, around here, none of our animal housing has been purchased. Um, it's all been either made by us and most of everything uh, that we have made has been made out of recycled or reclaimed materials. So, uh, except with the exception of maybe the screws and the um, latches and hinges and things like that. But we try to make things first. And uh, if we don't have the materials to, to make something, then we buy used, which is the next uh, thing on my list. Um, buy used things. Um, a great place to look for stuff like that is on Craigslist, garage sales, uh, flea markets, uh, different things like that, swap meets, a newspaper, sometimes people have different things uh, that they don't use anymore that somebody else can get some use out of and you can usually get it at a discounted price. So um, buy used. <clears throat> um, the next thing is repair broken items. If you have something that's broken, try to fix it. And if you can't fix it, then repurpose it. Um, look for sales and uh, look for sales and use coupons. Now this is mainly pertaining to the um, grocery aspect, but um, use use those sales. I mean, you might as well save money if you're going to have to buy something from the store. Shop seasonally. Um, I know here around here, uh, tomatoes go for a premium price there in the at the beginning of the season, ones that have been grown in greenhouses. Uh, and as the season goes on and everybody's tomatoes are coming on in their garden, uh, the price drops dramatically when there's just a flood of tomatoes. And you can pick them up pretty, uh, pretty inexpensively and uh, you can freeze them, dehydrate them, can them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can preserve that and use them throughout the year and you didn't pay as much money for them as you would have if they were um, kind of towards the beginning or the end of the season. Um, buying in bulk, that saves you quite a bit of money uh, on certain things that you, you use. Uh, I go to the Amish and I buy 50 pound bags of flour. They, uh, they sell them pretty inexpensively there and um, it's it's a lot better flour than what you can get out of the store if you uh, if you buy it from say the Amish 
or uh, if you eat a lot of rice, um, go somewhere where they sell it in bulk and, and buy it from there. Um, making a meal plan can really save you a lot of money. Um, that way you know you have on hand what you need for all your meals um, for however long you choose to make your meal plan for. I make mine for a month in advance so I know what I need every month that that way there's no surprises and I don't have to make a bunch of extra trips to town because oh I forgot an ingredient. Um, uh, growing your own food is a fantastic way to save money. Uh, seeds are not very expensive. You do have your time and input uh, into that um, particular item, but um, you can really save money if you just grow things on your own. Okay, um, learn to trade and barter with people. Uh, you can really get a lot of good stuff if you're willing to trade and barter with people. Um, uh, we have, we raise our Great Pyrenees puppies and uh, we've traded a few puppies for things that we've wanted uh, or needed. So trading, uh, see, look at what you have that you don't necessarily need and, and see if somebody else might need it and, and they may have something that you want or need. So trading and bartering is really good, uh, a really good way to get things inexpensively um, and everybody comes out happy in the end. Um, when you buy things, buy multi-purpose items, especially if you're investing in something that's a little bit pricey. Buy something that um, <clears throat> you can use for multiple different things. My KitchenAid stand mixer is a, is a perfect example that has so many attachments on it. I can, I can use it for almost anything and, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. That thing is, is really helpful. So invest in things that are multi-purpose if you can get more than one use out of them that is great okay um i make lists if i have to go to town i only go to town once a week if i can help it um, i make a list of things that i need or things that are running low that i know I'm going to need before that next trip to town. So make a list of, of different the things that you need and uh, really limit your trips to town because that does save you a lot on uh, on fuel and uh, things like that. So um, and then the last thing I've got for you, um, try to save money on uh, on your electricity, your, your uh, energy consumption. Um, uh, we have a clothesline that uh, we use. Uh, we try to use it until it's just too cold outside to use it. Um, in the mornings, like in the spring and fall when it's nice and cool, instead of using the air conditioner, we open up windows and um, do it that way. Um, and then use uh, if you're on like city water or something like that, you, you know, you're, you have your metered water, um, your showers, take shorter showers, turn it off in between, you know, scrubbing or, or whatever. So there's just a bunch of different ways that you can save money on water and, and, and electricity and things like that. So anyway, uh, turning lights off when you leave a room and, and, uh, and things like that. So. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, if I skipped over something that I um, that I meant to to mention, uh, I do apologize. If you guys have any other suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments. That would be great. Um, as something I didn't even think of, maybe. Um, so, uh, you guys uh, have a good day, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.